Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is the game. Jeremy McWilliams. Remember the name. What's up, peeps? I am finally back to doing some driving videos. Today, we're going to hop right into Postmates, or at least I'm going to try to. I haven't done Postmates in a long time, so um, at least not successfully. I did a little test real quick before I walked downstairs. I turned on Postmates, and within like two minutes, I got an order for Chick-fil-A, so Fingers crossed, that's a good sign. It's 12.21 right now, Wednesday the 13th. I'm gonna give it a go for maybe about an hour and a half and we will see how many orders we can get. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it works out well, but you never know till you try it, so let's roll. All right, so admittedly, I'm a little bit salty right now. It's 12.23 now, but check this out. Right before I came down here, I got this little notification that said the blitz is now on, which was from 17 minutes ago. But while I was packing up my stuff, I guess I didn't even notice that. I've been trying to make a Postmates video about the blitz for quite a while now, pretty much ever since I started doing Postmates. And it's like, for whatever reason, it's never worked out. It seems like that little notification pops up at least a couple times a day, but it's like always at a certain point in the day where it just won't work out for me. I was hoping today was a day Basically what the Blitz is, uh, as far as I know, as far as I understand it, is when Postmates has an order, but there's no drivers that are taking it, so they turn the Blitz on, which is like an extra incentive, extra pay, and it's basically a turn on until a driver accepts that order. So I'm really curious how much the extra pay is, and that's what I wanna check out. So hopefully I'll be doing a video on that one soon. If you guys have experience with the Blitz, let me know what your experience is, let me know how much extra they paid, and drop those comments down below. Anyways, 12.24, let's uh, keep waiting, I guess. <laughs> oh man, soon, I feel an order coming soon. In the meantime, while we're waiting, you guys can see that I am online. It is looking for orders. There's not really any red around here, which I guess means there's no uh, no recent activity in the orders. But I wanted to point something out real quick. So let's hop into Uber. Scroll down here, click on this little dude, and see where it says see upcoming promotions. This is usually where it tells you like what the boost is for the day or what the boost is for that certain time period. For whatever reason, this is what it said for like the last week for me. No promotions available yet. Please check back later. Is it just me? Is something wrong with my app or is that happening to everyone? Did Uber recently change something and they're just not offering boosts or promotions anymore? Because if so, and they're still paying the same, then uh, got to keep it real. Probably never do Uber Eats again because the pay was already pretty much the lowest of any of the other delivery uh, apps. You averaged like $4 an order maybe, and like I always say, you pretty much never get tipped. So if they're not even adding bonus incentives anymore, or boosts, I can't imagine too many drivers are gonna keep doing it. But maybe they changed something. Like I said, um, I haven't done Uber Eats or Postmates in a while, so both of them may have changed things as far as I know. Maybe Uber Eats up to their pay and got rid of the boosts. I don't know. If you guys know, let me know below because I'm super curious. And here we go, 1232. We got our first offer, which is for Chili's all the way in Lake Mary. I'm right here, which is in Sanford, and the Chili's is in Lake Mary. And then it wants me to go all the way over there. So... Yeah, I'm going to turn that one down. Posted up at Target in Lake Mary, the old stomping grounds, patiently, somewhat patiently, waiting for an order to come in. This is where the first one came from, Chili's, which is like a half mile that way thinking now I probably should have took it but there's a ton of restaurants right up and down this road 
I've tried before this road and I failed miserably, but hopefully we'll have a little bit better luck this time. Or I might have to take another break from Postmates for like the hundredth time. <laughs> we'll see. Postmates sucks. It's almost one o'clock. Still a whole lot of nothing. Sweet focus. All right, there we go. No orders, no offers. There's that little tiny area, which I might drive to, but chances are by the time I get there, it will disappear. There's so many restaurants right around here. I don't get it. How's there no orders? Anyways, looks like it's shaping up to be another, another, another Postmates fail with me. Seems to be the trend lately. Man, they were just teasing me with that initial uh, Chick-fil-A order, and then after that, what was Chili's? And since then, nothing. And what's it been? Almost an hour? In the middle of lunch? I don't know, man. I don't know. I was going to try Uber, but like I showed you guys, I don't know what's going on with the boost thing, so if they're not even offering any boost, I'm not trying to drive around for four bucks an hour if you know what I'm saying but uh, maybe my next video I'll give that a shot and uh, see if anything changed with that like I said maybe they changed their base pay and maybe it's not quite as bad as it used to be but I think the moral of this story what I'm learning from all of this from the uh, Postmates stuff the DoorDash problems I've been having and the the uber stuff i just talked about i think i really 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 need to try and give grubhub a shot i've heard good things about it i've heard it paid the best and i know they have it in this area i have applied for it on i think three separate occasions for like three separate locations i think i applied for orlando daytona beach and deltona i got shot down every time but i think i'm gonna try harder i'm gonna try and uh push the advertising aspect of it saying like I'll feature it on my channel tell them about my YouTube channel because I haven't done that yet I talked about it but I just did like the basic application and they got back to me and said they're uh that area is full or whatever so uh but the last time I applied was maybe like at least over a month ago because before I got sick so it's probably closer to two months ago so maybe there is openings now fingers crossed with that said, I'm also going to try and apply for shipped for, I think, the third time. I've already done that twice. Never heard anything back from them. But I've also heard good things about shipped, especially compared to Instacart. So those who are next on my hit list, as well as what I talked about in my last vlog, which is Lime Scooters. But as you guys can tell, I'm in the Kia Rio. If you know what the Kia Rio is, it's a super tiny car. So until I can sell my Camaro, and get something bigger, the Lime Scooters thing probably won't happen. I also mentioned in my vlog that I wanna give normal Uber and Lyft a shot, and that's not gonna happen in this car or my Camaro either, because I don't want random strangers in my Camaro, especially, I don't even know if he can do it with two doors, he probably can't. So uh, that's not an issue with that, but I definitely don't want random strangers in my girlfriend's car, especially where my son's riding all the time. So, uh, 12.58 now. Sorry you guys are struggling through another fail video. <laughs> uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should keep waiting here. I think I'm gonna drive back towards home. If I get there and I don't have any orders. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, we'll see. Alright my dudes, unfortunately, that's pretty much going to be a wrap for today's Postmates attempt. I won't even call it a video, or, I mean it was the opposite of successful obviously. It's 1.09 now, so I think it's been almost exactly an hour since I first turned on Postmates. So aside from that, uh, the, what was it, Chili's order that I showed you guys, that was in Lake Mary and then it wanted me to, you know, go way far away to deliver it. Here's one thing that bothers me about Postmates. Like, DoorDash is cool because DoorDash shows you exactly pretty much how you're, much you're gonna get paid. It shows you where the restaurant is, what it's called, 
and then it shows you the location. So you know like your trip ahead of time. You know exactly where you're going to pick it up. You know exactly where you're going to drop it off. My beef with Postmates, and it also gives you a whole minute to uh, make that decision of whether or not you want to accept it. My beef with Postmates is it gives you like 10 seconds or less. It shows you the name of the restaurant. It shows where you are, the little car icon. It shows where the restaurant is and then it like draws a line to where you gotta drop it off. But it's not really nearly enough time to decide if you wanna accept it or not. And it also doesn't give you any indication or any guesstimate of how much you're gonna get paid. So it's really tough to say whether or not it's worth it. I've done plenty of deliveries like that where it took me like uh, 15 minutes to get to the restaurant. Uh, I can't remember if Postmates pays you or not for your drive to the restaurant. I wanna say no. So you gotta drive all the way to the restaurant and then you gotta pick up the food, drop it off. And I've had it take like up to 45 minutes for that whole trip and I only made $4 without a tip. So obviously that's not worth it. I didn't want that to be the first delivery to start out the day. I had a good feeling there'd be a lot more after I turned down that one, but obviously that didn't happen. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. It's been over an hour, so uh, I'm gonna log out of Postmates, give it a shot another day. Maybe since it's staying lighter later now, maybe I'll actually do a dinner shift because I haven't done one of those in a long, long, long time. So maybe I'll give one of those a shot and have more luck. Let me know how you guys are doing with your Postmates experiences lately. Is the pay better? Are you getting consistent deliveries? Are you getting tipped? What's your experience like? Let me know below, because obviously, as you can see, in my past couple Postmates videos, I pretty much get no orders. If I do, they're very inconsistent, and I haven't been accepting too many, because most of the time, the restaurant's a pretty long drive to get there. So, in this video, I drove I started out in Sanford. I drove all the way to Lake Mary where all the restaurants are at. I waited there for about 10, 15 minutes, nothing. And I drove back to Sanford, nothing on the way. So I am gonna call it quits, cut my losses, try again another day. Anyways, once again, I'm sorry for another Postmates fail. I know a lot of you guys are watching this to uh, get some insight into Postmates, see how much you can make see what the whole process is like, see if you wanna try it out for yourself. My opinion, like I always say, is to indeed test it out yourself because your market, your area could and likely is completely different. You may be able to make a lot of money, whereas where I'm at, outside Orlando, it seems like it's always dead. So, uh, is what it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. If it sucks, you don't have to do it again. Like I've said, the hiring process is super easy to get hired. It's super easy to get started. So you really don't have too much to lose. Anyways, that's a wrap for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it somewhat, even though there's no deliveries. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Enjoy the rest of your day. And as always, stay limitless. Take a shot, you got everything you'll ever need You fought, you're not gonna let up on the speed Those knots, thank God, you were only make-believe Those